before I begin, if you are watching this video for the first time, make sure that you understand the context of this uh, parsing series of videos. In the video description, there's a link, and in there it takes you to a PDF where you can find all the nicely organized uh, curated videos in the channel. So I'm trying to make sure that my curator system parses uh, carbon black protection uh, messages. And if I go to this remote system, and again, the, the setup of this is, is in a separate video of this series, and I replay these logs, and I go back to my curator, I see the logs, I put in the payload contains carbon, but, but they are not being parsed. And, and you know, I try to get auto detect to auto discovery to detect it and no matter how many times I play it uh, it doesn't recognize them and the, there are some events in here that I purposely put that are wrongly formatted for example this one doesn't have a header uh, this one has uh, this one has the year in it but these two the host name a and host name B, they are perfectly fine. Uh, at least I think that that's the case, and yet it cannot be parsed. Well, this is a time where your best chances of figuring out what it is is question yourself, am I using the right parser? And for that, no, there's no better document than the DSM guide. So I downloaded the, the DSM guide and here in the carbon black section I see I begin to understand what my problem is I see a carbon black parser uh, and I'm sure I installed a carbon black parser I, I show you how I, I did this uh, and there's also this other carbon black protection and well like most of the actual DSMs they have a sample log message take a look at this carbon black protection Okay, let's actually go back to this DSM, for example, uh, the, this uh, uh, log event. So let me pause the events. Let me open in here. And if we see, that matches perfectly this. What type of parser do I have? Well, there are different ways of knowing that. Uh, there are commands and all that for it. But probably the easiest way is to go and to the about click here additional release information and here you see everything that you have installed and the parser that I have is carbon black not carbon black protection let's see if that is the problem whenever you want to get the latest and, and the, the most recent version of any parser you are better off going to fix central so in here in Fix Central, I downloaded Carbon Black Protection, and I'm going to install it now. So I use FileZilla to move that uh, parser into Store Temp. You can use SCP, whatever, whatever you like to move it into the QRadar uh, console. Let me actually go there. SSH into the QRadar box. We go to store temp, and in here I'm going to do jom plus y install. Then I put ds and then tap, and it finds that's the only one that I have, and hit enter. This is going to take a minute or two. I'm going to pause the video to keep it shorter. Okay that installation completed fine let me actually I was actually using one of my videos to refresh my memory on how to install these things so let's go to the QRadar log activity tab let me load my search actually I have a safe search here parsing example one and that again there's a separate video that show how I set all these up uh, but that's the what I want to have and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replay this and I'm just going to make it uh, loop so 
So I'm making it with the dash L, so it will send message constantly. And we see it here. I just want to give a chance for the auto discover to work. More than 25 logs of this, uh, which is normally the, the threshold for auto discovery, has gone and this thing hasn't worked out. Why would that be? Hmm. Let me actually go to my remote system and stop the sending of the, of the logs for now. Let's go back here. Let me actually go to the admin tab. Because and why why is it that I want to go there? Well, you can there are two things you can do. You can go back here and see if now where you have all your DSMs, you see carbon black protection here. It's only carbon black. I don't see carbon black protection. Hmm. What could that be? We go to the admin tab and notice that I need to deploy changes every time I add a DSM. Let me actually do that and pause in the video until that completes. So deployment change is finished. Let me actually go back to the about page and see whether it registers that I have the carbon black protection parser. And here it is. Let's actually replay those logs one more time or send them from a real system and see what we get. But before I go there, let me make sure I have my log activity tab with the right search. Let me go back to my save search. Parsing example one, where I'm looking for carbon black in the payload, and I'm suppressing that information message in it. And these are the columns that I have. So let me go to the remote system, replay those logs in a loop and see and you see <laughs> auto discovery is working let me pause the replay let me go back here and we see that the these events again i have some problems and this is part of this video series i'm going to show you how i i determine all these problems and the difference between uh sim generic stored and uh, and are, are known but this we had fixed the problem because I knew that these uh, uh, files were properly sent I, because I compared these with the DSM guy and it matches that and we can see that the events had actually been nicely parsed we get the event name we have the category the event description, etc. Okay, so I uh, this is an example with carbon black, but the same can be happening with any one of the log sources that you don't see curator auto discovering and parsing nicely. Your best friend here is the DSM guy.